Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie. If you are new here, I do all kinds of vlogs, lifestyle videos, motherhood. I do a little bit of finance videos as well. Today's video, I'm going to do my monthly reset. I did this for the first time in a long time, beginning of this month, so beginning of August. You're gonna see this at the end of August. Anyway, I did an August one. <laughs> I really enjoyed kind of getting back into setting goals again. I'm not setting like super strict goals. Ever since going through pregnancy, having a baby, postpartum, all this stuff, I used to be a very goal-oriented person and I used to do a lot of things. I was a very productive person and now things kind of are just different being a mom. But I still want to like, you know, do things that make me happy and try to go after goals, even if they're not like these big, huge career goals or anything like that. Today, I'm gonna take you through how my September goals went. I'm gonna show you if I got, if I did them, if I didn't do them. And then I'm going to share with you a couple of favorites from August, and then I'll show you what my goals are for September. So if you have any goals that you would like to share, let's keep each other accountable, put them in the comments down below. And then one more thing before I get started, I do just wanna thank you guys for your support when it comes to Ben's health. I've mentioned in the last couple of videos that he hasn't been in a great place. It seems like he's having some health issues that he had years ago that got us into the debt that we're in now. So it's been pretty scary financially to figure that out. Obviously for him, health-wise, my mental health and stuff has had to kind of take a back seat. So it's just been Kind of not my favorite month, I'm not gonna lie. August has not been my favorite. Hoping that September is a better month, but I did wanna thank you guys so much for just checking in on us and sending you know, positive thoughts, prayers, all that stuff. We really appreciate that, so thank you. Without further ado, let's jump into this. I've already tried to film this once, and I had to stop because I kept being interrupted by Sounds and Ivy and Ben, so. Let's try to do this now. Ben's outside sleeping in the hammock. Ivy is asleep upstairs in her crib. So if I'm looking over here, I'm looking at her monitor and it sounds like the people across the street stopped sawing whatever they were sawing. I'm gonna screen record as I talk to you guys. So here is kind of my list for August. I'm gonna try to go through this quickly, but I'll explain a little bit. My first financial goal was to eat out less, trying for a month without food out. So we made it about 20 days without getting food out, 15 to 20 days. And then we have had food out a couple of times. Honestly, with Ben's health stuff, there's just been a couple of days where like, we just couldn't cook. We just like couldn't <laughs> do it. Obviously we could have, but it just didn't work. So we have had a couple of meat meals out, but we have been incredibly less than most months. If you guys know, this is probably the hardest part of my budget is not spending so much eating out going to coffee shops little like acai bowls here and there uh that's where i tend to overspend so this is something i really wanted to be conscious about in august and i think that we were we didn't make it a full month without eating but we did check the goal of eating out less so i am going to check that one off the second one is closing my business budget. I'm gonna check that one off too. I did that, I just, if I get to the point where I start making a bunch of money on YouTube, <laughs> or like, um, you know, I, I gain some more clients, I'll, I'll reopen my LLC in Illinois, but right now it just doesn't make sense. Plus we have no idea, like are we gonna stay in Illinois? Are we gonna move again? It's just a lot, of, a lot of work, so. I did that one. Be more intentional with spending. Think about things before doing it. I am gonna click that one as well. I do think that I can still be even more intentional with my spending, but we have been really good about that this month. Moving on to wellness. Continue with Kelly's workouts. I'm gonna click that one. I have been doing Kelly Yeager's workout program from home. It's four workouts for 30 minutes and I've really been loving them. I haven't done all four every single week, but for the most part, I would say there's only been two weeks that I haven't done all four workouts. So I've been loving that and I am gonna repurchase her next program because she does them every eight weeks. Walk once a day, weather permitting. That's a no. Um, the weather has been pretty weird in August with like the smoke quality and the, it's been like really hot or not, um, which I don't feel comfortable like walking outside with Ivy. But the other piece of this is Ben's health and like mental health, they're kind of all together. But right now he's just having a lot of um, 
like panic and anxiety attacks and one of the things is like leaving the house me leaving the house ivy leaving the house him leaving the house so we haven't been going for walks which is actually really sucked for my own mental health i'm not gonna lie but that's just where we're at this month and i'm hoping that it'll continue to get better next is gluten and dairy free like be gluten and dairy free i've been 100 percent gluten free this month i have not been dairy free i've kind of been pushing pushing it with that because a i want to see if i can eat dairy i don't think i have like an allergy or anything like that i think maybe i'm a little sensitive but i do like having some dairy so um i'm not going to click that one because technically i have not been dairy free be more cautious with sugar and caffeine intake i would say no when i was doing the cleanse that i did at the beginning of the month i was conscious about those things but i haven't been since exposure therapy for ocd i have been going to therapy every week but I'm not gonna click this one because I haven't been able to do exposure therapy. Again, with Ben's health and with his panic attacks, I haven't exactly been able to like do my own exposure therapy when he's having a hard time with me leaving the house or um, with him leaving the house, things like that. So I have not been able to do exposure therapy. Ivy, get outside at least once a day. Yes, but I will say Ben's been doing this one more than me, so technically, Yes, she's been outside pretty much every day unless it's like really hot or The air quality actually is more of an issue if there's like too much smoke in the air We won't take her outside if it's hot. He usually tries to take her out in the morning try solids and purees She has done some we haven't done a ton, but we have done some she really loves banana eggs nectarines which that she just like licks <laughs> the nectarine juice she doesn't eat it, but she really has been enjoying that so far she loves eggs she like l will literally try to take my eggs from me when i'm eating them in the morning try to take her someplace new we haven't again been going anywhere because of like ben's health and stuff so this is a no on this one but hopefully something to continue in the future okay so for life i put read two books which i did do get ready twice a week i also did that that for me just means like doing my makeup um putting on an outfit that doesn't look like pajamas meditate or quiet time once a day i don't think i've really done this one and then get up by seven i have not done this one because ivy has not slept this month so that is where that one ends so those are all of my goals for august and how those went now i'm going to show you a couple of my favorites this month my first favorite is actually right here it's these alani new drinks i will say the one i have today is peach it's not my favorite, it's probably my least favorite, but the Cosmic Stardust and the Cherry Slushy is so good. Um, are these like super good for you? Probably not because I'm sure there's like added stuff in them, but they're not terrible. They're not like some energy drinks that are like really bad for you. I don't think at least. <laughs> I have been really liking these. It's been helping me not drink as much coffee, although I do really like coffee. But I will say with my coffee, as you guys know, I drink so much creamer. It's just like so many calories and so much sugar, whereas this is 10 calories, zero sugar. So it's just a little bit better on that front. I've really been enjoying these. I've only been having them for like a week, but I really love them. Again, this is probably my least favorite flavor because I got a pack of them at Costco and they had the Stardust, is it called Stardust? Cosmic Stardust, I think. Um, I would say my favorite is Cherry, Cosmic Stardust, and then this one. I tried the Kim, Kim K one too. I think it's fine, but I probably won't buy that one. And they do have a Witch's Brew coming out which I would like to try, but for right now, I've really been loving these. My second favorite is Ninja Creamies. I got my Ninja Creamy at the beginning of the month and I have been making them almost every night. I've really been enjoying them, but this is where I'm pushing the am I dairy-free, should I be dairy-free train. I've been using the Fairlife chocolate milk, which is really good. Next is just a random thing. It's reading again. I have been loving reading again. I've been, I think I'm on my third or fourth book this month. Maybe even more than that. One, two, three. This might even be my fifth book <laughs> of the month, honestly. One of my non-favorites is that Ivy has been waking up a lot in the middle of the night. She's not sleeping very well lately, which is 
great on top of our health not being in the best place. I've been reading when I'm up with her in the middle of the night and it's been like less stimulating than watching my phone or doing something on my phone. So I've really been enjoying that. The other thing is my new phone case. I got this from Wally Cases. I don't know if you can see it. But I've been really liking this. I already have a Wally case, but it's black. So I got this like, um, it's like pink and tan. My next favorite is the workouts from Kelly Yeager. I've been loving them. They have been making me feel really good. They're really inexpensive. I just think that it's like amazing and it's been making me love working out again. And it currently has been one of the few things that's like just for me. And I've really been enjoying that. So those have been a favorite. And then last but not least, my favorite channels. I actually have one up right now. The Wads channel, it's like a lifestyle channel. I don't watch all of her videos. Like I don't love shop with me type things, but I've, I watch most of her other videos and I love her personality. Her name's Kim and I just like love her personality and I've been obsessed with her. Then my second favorite channel this month has been Gem Goddess. So these are both channels that I've been following and subscribed to for a while, but I just feel like I've really been looking forward to their videos this month. And Gem Goddess, I used to watch all the time. She does pick a card tarot readings. I know not for everybody, but I love that kind of stuff. And she's always been very like on it. And Ben and I, and actually his sister Elizabeth has come over a couple times and we've watched them together. If anything, they just make me feel hopeful for the future. She's very positive in her readings. I felt very excited about what could happen for the future for me and for Ben, especially with where he's at health wise. So those have just been like a positive piece of our month. Okay, moving on to my goals for September. Let's go through those. So starting with financial, I put worry less and find helpful tools. I'm worried about money. If you guys haven't watched my last budgeting video, then you wouldn't know, but I'm just worried about if Ben needs to take a leave of absence from work or if something like that happens, he needs to go see a bunch of doctors. I'm worried about us getting in the same financial position that we were in last time. And I just want to use my tools that I currently have, the people in my life, and remind myself that just because it happened before doesn't mean it's gonna happen again. So worrying less around finances is something that I would like to do. Spend less on food out. I just wanna continue this goal from August and see if we can continue to do it. I'm not gonna say not gonna eat out at all, but I would like to continue to be on budget or under budget when it comes to eating food out. And then obviously, if for some reason we do need to cut our budget, and that needs to be cut out completely, then we will do that. But hopefully that doesn't have to happen. And then I put save money in case of emergency. I think this is really reminding us that we don't have enough built up in our savings. If Ben needed to take a couple of months off unpaid, we would not be able to afford that. We have only about a month and a half-ish worth of savings in our uh, of like our income in savings, but I just think that we need to work on our savings. So if we're ever in this situation again, we don't have to worry about it. Moving on to wellness, I put workout three to five times a week. I'll be doing this with Kelly's programs. Currently I've been working out two to four times a week, so three to five. I just feel like it's something I can do with her workouts. There's four a week and then if I like go for a walk, if I can start doing that or whatever, I'll add that in as well. Lose five pounds. I don't like putting a number on things, but I also kind of wanted to. If I don't meet this one, I'm not gonna be mad at myself, but I also just feel like I've been like going up and down when it comes to weight. And I do want to lose about 30 pounds from where I am now, if a little bit more, but at least 30 pounds from where I am now. That's like my big goal. So I kind of want to start adding in some like little goals in there as well. I put think of three things I'm grateful for every day. I just need to practice gratitude more. I think that when you're really stressed out and there's a lot of bad stuff going on, it's hard to realize the good that you have going on in your life. So I really want to focus on that. And then wellness, I put get my hair done. It's something that makes me feel better for my mental health. I get my hair done like once or twice a year. <laughs> um, so I would really like to do that again. Ben is going back to this to work this week and if for some reason something happens that he isn't able to continue that and he needs to take time off, I will not get my hair done. <laughs> but if he's able to continue working and like his health keeps improving, then this is something that I really wanna prioritize, especially after how stressful the last couple months have been 
for me and for him. But because these are my goals for me. <laughs> Next is Ivy. I put read to her once a day. Ben usually does. I want to get better at reading to her once a day. She loves being read to, so I just want to get better at doing that. Get outside once a day. And this one, she's already doing again with Ben, but I really want to focus on doing this with me. And start taking walks. I did put mental health permitting. Obviously with my OCD tendencies, this is something that I'm kind of afraid of. And with Ben's mental health, he hasn't been wanting to go for walks either. It's inducing like anxiety for him. So it's all mental health permitting, but I'm hoping by the end of September that we can start doing walks again. For life, I put read two books. I read quite a few in August, so I'm hoping I can read at least two books in September. Get ready three times a week, so I added one to my little list here, and then at least one me thing a week. It doesn't have to be big, it doesn't have to be small, but just something for me that's not work. I feel like whenever I have a minute to do something by myself, I'm cleaning the house, I'm filming a video, I'm editing a video. Um, those are things that I like to do, but I'm not doing anything that's like just for me. And I don't even know what those are gonna be yet, but that is something that I would like to focus on. I'm running out of time on my camera here, so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing what my goals looked like for August, a couple of my favorites, and what my goals will be like for September. Remember to leave a goal of yours down below if you would like to, or you know, give me some encouragement because I have a lot of goals going on. But thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.